this is Melody with Realty Executives Main Street. And oh my goodness, I have got to share this story. Okay, so my boy, he just graduated high school and he, you know, been working and saving up to buy a car. So I sold him my car. And I got a new to me car, okay? It's nothing fancy, but you know, it is what it is. And so when I went, my husband and I went to the car dealership, you know, we tried out cars and we talked to the salespeople and all this stuff. And when we get to pay for the car, we see the statement there. And there's a $250 charge and there's a $299 charge. Now my husband is saying, you know what? I don't, I want to know what these charges are for. Oh, well, they're included with all of the purchases. Okay, but what are they for? Well, one of them is for a third key. You can get a third key programmed. And one of the charges is for an anti-theft thing. I don't, I don't understand all that. Okay, but they're included with every purchase you have to pay. Just give it a month or so, and then you can send in this paperwork, and you can get your third key. Okay, so I literally get my phone out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the phone. Get my phone out, and I put it one month from today. I need to send this paperwork in to get my third key. Okay, so I do that. When the date comes up, I call the dealership, and I say, okay, can you tell me where I'm supposed to send this paper to? Well, the guy that I needed to talk to just happened to be off that day. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, there's a little there's a little company name here at the bottom. I'll call them. I called them, and the lady said, ma'am, we don't just issue third keys. We're a replacement key company. And I said, but that's not what I was told. I was told that this $299 mandatory fee that the dealership gave me, I was told that it was for a third key. She said, ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. So the more I thought about it, the matter I got. So I waited till the next day and I called the dealership and the guy I needed to talk to happened to be working. And I called him and he said, you know what, Mrs. Wagstaff? He said, we've got a different policy now. We want you to bring the paperwork here, we'll get it taken care of. You just go into the service, we'll get you taken care of. So I did. The very next day, I went over to the dealership. I took my car into the service side. I got my little paper and I said, I'm here to get my third key that I paid $299 for. And the man looked at me and he said, well, you drive this kind of car and we're this kind of dealership. I said, yes, I understand that, but I bought my car here, and I was told to bring it here with my, and I had my little notes and who I talked to and yada, 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 and I said, I was told to bring it here to get my third key that I had paid $299 for that was mandatory. Well, to make a long story short, he had to go get his manager, and the manager came over here and told me, he said, Mrs. Wagstaff, we are a certain kind of car dealership, and you have a certain, certain I said, yes, I understand that, but I, I bought my car here. I, it, you know, it's a used car, I bought it here, and this is what I was told, and I said, if you don't want to provide me a third key, that is just fine. I want my $299 back. He said, no, we will get it taken care of. And they did. Now, I had to go to a different dealership. I got my car key programmed, and I have it. And I'm telling you this story because I see this in real estate all the time. I will have clients who are interested in a property and I'll look up the disclosures and there's blanks all over. Now, get, don't get me wrong, honey, we are not perfect. None of us are perfect. I get it, okay? Sometimes those little lines, they look really small and I'm just like, I can't even see what that is. Even with my glasses on, I can't see it. So I understand that sometimes there might be a blank missed, but I am seeing documents right now where multiple blanks, there's nothing there. There's no signatures at the bottom. 
Friends, when you sign something, when you sign something, that is almost like your promise. Hey, you know, this is what I think. Da, da, da. And so to see documents in real estate, the biggest purchase that you're going to make with blanks or things that aren't signed, then you might need another realtor. I even had a guy, oh, bless his heart. John, this is for you. John called me, I don't even know, a couple months ago. We've been talking. I've showed him a few properties. And he said, you know what, Melody? I was talking to this other realtor, and he was a two. But after talking to you, you're definitely a 20. Now, I had to make sure what scale that was out of because I thought, you know, if that's out of 100, I'm still not doing good. But he said it was out of 10. <laughs> so I'm good. And I'm telling you this not to brag on myself because that's not me at all. I'm telling you that you need to feel comfortable asking questions with your realtor. If you don't understand something, you ask for clarification. If they are frustrated and they don't want to clarify things for you, you need to find another realtor. You need to make sure that anything you put your name on, you understand it. And there should not be a lot of blanks on any document that you sign. And if there is, ask about them. Until next time.